guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing Zimarch favorites. Now I think I've done a favorites this whole year, so I want to keep it going strong. This is a third favorites I've done this year, and I pretty much don't have a lot of things, but anyway, it's gonna end up being a long ass video. I did get questions on how I lightened my hair. Girl, if I told you, you'd probably be bald. I'm surprised I'm not bald. I did a lot of shit to it. I had to cut two inches off because it was like really bad. And this is really bad right now, but I don't want to cut any more off just because I feel like I would be up to here with my hair. And I already had my hair like that and I looked like shit. So let's not talk about what I did. If you guys do want to get your hair ombre or lightened, just go to a professional. That's all I'm going to say because... What I did is that something a professional will do. I just fucked up my hair. I will insert a picture right here of how ugly it was. I sent it on Snapchat and I look like Chucky. If you guys want to know what I've been loving for this month, please continue to watch. The first thing I've been loving this month, since I have really flat hair, I've been loving this Paul Mitchell um, Extra Body Daily Boost. And I put this in when my hair is um, wet. I put it on the roots and then I blow dry it and it gives me a little bit of volume. I hate teasing my hair, I just feel like it destroys it a lot. So I usually just put a little bit on the top of my head and then it will give me a natural sort of volume. I have really flat hair like I mentioned so I need that for my sale. So the next thing I've been loving for my hair that I made my sister buy me. Like I tricked her, I went to the store and I said I don't got no money so you want to buy it for me? And she bought it for me, it's this Herbal Essence Wild Nature Natural Dry Oil Spray. This is, I didn't want it because it was a dry oil, a little, I didn't want it because it was a dry, dry oil spray. I just wanted it because it smelled really, really good. So this dry oil, oil, I can't freaking say that word. Um, this dry oil spray, it's supposed to amplify shine and it does. I have really dry ends right now. So I've been using this to sort of amplify my shine and it's been helping me a lot and it smells really freaking good. The shampoo that goes with this smells really good too. And I just love it and this is what it looks like. For face products, I've been loving this primer water by um, Smashbox. Now this is really good because it primes your face but it also moisturizes it. I've told you guys I have a problem with dryness now so I've been trying anything and everything that will help my cracked face. So this has been helping me a lot. I spray it before and after. I actually haven't sprayed it now. But <sighs> doesn't taste good. But I've been using this a lot and it's only gone down a little bit. I use like three to four squirts on my face every day and I love it. I got it like three weeks ago I would say. So basically that like preps your face just for you to have an even canvas and it like refreshes you so that's why I really like it. It's a little bit on the expensive side but if you guys want to try something like it you guys can use Fix Plus. It smells exactly like Fix Plus so I don't know if it's the same thing but I love it and I will continue to use it because it's from my shirt. Something that will probably not come as a shocker to you guys because I've been using it so freaking much is this Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo number two? And I will swatch both of them for you guys. This is what they look like. I have both of them and I just pull this one out more. I don't know because I think it's because of the gold highlight. I have it on my face right now. It's a really intense highlight. So if you guys don't like intense highlights, this is probably not for you, but I like to look like I got a lot of glitter on. If you guys are into that super shimmery highlight, noticeable highlight, you probably won't like this, but I like to have a lot of glitter on my face, so this one I like. Something that's a little bit similar to that is the City Color Sunkiss Trio. It's these little huge, well not little, these huge palettes that um, come with a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. And I have all six of them and I just love them. I put the highlighter down my shoulder or sometimes I use a bronzer, but these are really good. They were super inexpensive. I found mine at Five Below and I don't know how much they are online, but I got mine for $5. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And this is huge, just like the size of my face. I have all six colors. I have Morning Glow, Tan, Evening Shine, Bronze Peach, Natural Nude and Golden. I have talked about City Colors before on my channel and their stuff is really pigmented. So you guys would need to use a light hand with that because if you use their bronzer, it is super pigmented and it could be a little bit orange. So you guys have to be really careful. But I love those for like super inexpensive drugstore price products. They're super good. So if you guys can get your hands on them, 
get them because they're really good they come with three products or five bucks is what I paid for them so I think that's really good I have the golden one down the my shoulders and like it makes me shine next for face I have been loving my Anastasia cream contour kit I'm not loving the contour colors but I am loving the highlighter colors I've been using a lot of banana and a lot of cream and along with that I use my naked skin concealer now this concealer is like has been winning over any other concealer I have in my collection I have mine in light medium it's full coverage but it's really light so it's not gonna make you look cakey or like look like you have a lot of makeup on but it's gonna brighten you and like conceal and cover up the shade you want to cover and this is gonna brighten up if you guys wanted to know what was on my face I'm wearing these two right now I'm not in love with the contour powders not powders colors um, I already talked about that in the video I made so if you guys want to check that out I will link it below I'll link it somewhere here but the highlighters are really good and they're super blendable I, I think some people said they weren't that blendable so they didn't really like them but I think they're really blendable if you use a light hand if you use a heavy hand it's gonna be a little bit more difficult but if you use a light hand you got something to work with sister for foundation what I've been loving is this true match Lumi um, healthy makeup it's a luminous makeup that um it's from L'Oreal and my color is W6 and W5 but I just ran out of my W5 so I've been mixing this with like lighter foundations because this is a little bit too dark for me right now it is what I'm wearing on my face right now and I just love how luminous it makes my skin it doesn't make me look dry it doesn't make me look matte it just gives me a nice dewy glue so I've been loving this and the only fact that I use this over the true match Lumi is because this one has a pump and this one is more dewy so if I mix them I usually mix this one with W5 true match um, regular and then I use the True Match Lumi W6 and I mix them and I get my perfect color and I get my perfect coverage it's nice coverage and it doesn't make you look like you're wearing a lot of makeup but it doesn't and it doesn't feel like you're wearing a lot of makeup you just look flowy now this little rock mascara I've never heard anybody talking about it but I really 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 like it and it's on sale right now at Ulta if you guys want to pick it up but it comes with like a weird wand um, the wand kind of is like fat and then it goes skinny so you get a lot of volume and length with this mascara I just want to give it a little shout out because I've been loving it this is what I use before I put on false lashes or when I'm going to work and I want to look like I have false lashes on this works real good now the one shadow that I swear to god I've been wearing for the past like week or two is this L'Oreal infallible amber, amber rush um, eyeshadow and this is like the most beautiful shadow of life. It's a pressed pigment. It's this one right here. You guys see this glowy goodness? It's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. It's called Amber Rush. It's a pressed pigment by L'Oreal. And I've literally used this maybe 50 times and it doesn't even feel like I've used it. It's really, really pretty when it's wet. It looks super metallic and like really wet looking on the eye. And it's really intense when you wet it. I just love this color. Probably my favorite color from the drugstore by far and I just want to give it a shout out because I've been using it all month and I made a video on it. This is what it looked like. I want to give a shout out to this Makeup Forever eyeliner. It's a matte eyeliner. Like look at how black it is. And look at how thin you can make the line. I don't know. It's just so good and it dries matte, it dries super fast, it doesn't transfer, it stays on a really long time and I just feel like it's really worth the money. I've tried so many eyeliners that I haven't tried to steal a one but this one is good and I love it and I love it. And this is so easy for beginners because it just like literally draws a line for you. I suck at wing liner so this has been a big help and I want to thank you because I suck at it. One of the best lip colors I've come across in a really long time has been Tootsie by Colourpop. Literally, I'm obsessed with this color. I've been wearing it ever since I got it like five days ago. I'm going to consider it a March favorite because I've been waiting for this color to come out forever. This is Tootsie. It's like a gray beige. It's a grayish. This is the lip liner. And I'll show you guys the lippy stick. The lippy stick is a little bit lighter than the lip liner. I feel like the lip liner is a little bit darker and it's perfect because you could outline your lip. You fill it in with the lippy stick and it looks perfect. It gives you some dimension. It doesn't like make your lips look little. It makes your lips pop out. It is what I'm wearing today. I am just obsessed with it. All my ColourPop lippy sticks are back here. 
in these two drawers. I pretty much have all of them. There's only three that I don't have and I can't wait to get my hands on them. I'm gonna make an, another order from ColourPop soon, so if you guys wanna see a haul on those, I already put the other lippy sticks I have in my collection because I might do a ColourPop lippy stick swatch video and I have 63 lippy sticks so that's going to be cut up in like four videos because I have so many that it's going to take me forever to swatch them but I just want to give a shout out to my favorite ones right now it's Tootsie <sighs> what would I ever do without you baby now one of the things that surprised me this month and no lie have been these Anastasia lip glosses I have dollhouse and I have vintage and oh Jesus Christ I am in love I've been wearing this every single day ever since I to get Tootsie. I'll put this over Tootsie. It looks beautiful. It's like the perfect nude for me. It's like a mauve nude. And then Dollhouse is like a bright pink. They're right here. And these are like liquid lipsticks, but they dry in a gloss. They're super opaque. They do not stick to any... They're not sticky, but they stay on a really long time. They don't have a really... They just have like a slight cakey smell and I am just in love with these. I've gotten so many compliments when I wear vintage. I haven't really played around with dollhouse but I want to pick up all of them. I was so sad when I entered that contest and I didn't win the Norvina contest but you know what? I'm just going to have to buy more because you guys know I love lipsticks. Everything behind me is lipstick so you guys know I'm a lipstick horror junkie you know. But I just love these and um, vintage has a slight glitter to it, but you can't really see it. I just love it on my lips. Makes them look so plump. I'll put some on right now. Now you guys see the plumpness it brings to my lips. It is double-ended, so you guys get product on both sides of the thing, and I just love it. I can literally apply this all day. I know I will be have to buy another backup soon because I never want to be without this gloss, just like I never want to be without Tootsie. These two are my all-time favorite lip products of this year's thus far like the best not sticky um all it should be Sharon that God sent me um I got mine at Macy's at a Schomburg mall in Chicago so if you guys want to check that out they do have them there just don't buy all of them because I want to go back and buy more and I just love those and they're my favorite and I just love them so much last but not least you guys this is my random of the month I don't know what came over me, but I literally cannot stop eating jelly beans. Literally, I cannot stop eating jelly beans. I have those. And then, since I'm very anal and like, not OCD, but like very anal about like stuff being eaten because everybody comes in my room and grabs them, I have a, a whole bag to fill them up. I am just obsessed with jelly beans. I do not know what it is, but I am obsessed with them. My favorite one is this mango one. It's like mango with more tropical. Literally heaven in my mouth. I cannot stop eating jelly beans. Like I'm gonna have so many cavities and go to the dentist again because I, I can't stop eating them. Like, look how big this thing is. These and these, who the hell needs these many jelly beans? But again, people come in my room and just grab them because they think they, they, uh, they might get these for them. And I said, hell no, go buy your own because they mine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe. In the comments, leave me your favorites of the month and let me know if you guys want me to vlog my journey to Jelly Bean World, which I'm really excited about. They're gonna open one in downtown Chicago. I went last week. But literally, it was closed, and I was so upset it was closed. I was like, yo quiero mi jelly bean porque no está abierto. Yo lo quiero, por favor. So, yeah, I really am excited about Jelly Bean World. I'm sorry I touched my hair a lot. It's just a nervous habit. I've had it ever since I was a little girl. I touch my hair constantly. It's like a safety blanket for me. I know it's probably annoying. But it's just something I've always done when I get nervous. And I'm not nervous now. It's just something I always do. I just touch my hair, and it's probably annoying to a lot of you guys. But... It's just something I can't control. Literally, my hands just go like this. Like, at work, they either go like this because I have my hair up, or I, they go like this because my hair is down. So, I'm sorry, but I touched my hair a lot. And if you guys love jelly beans, let me know. Give it a thumbs up if you like those jelly beans because I love them. And I will see you guys very soon. I know I'm wearing the same shirt I was wearing in another video, but that was my get ready for this video. So, yeah, you know, gotta do two videos in one. 
So if you guys enjoyed it, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Think I've done the monthly favorites so far. Why do you have the same shirt on? Because I want to, bitch. Don't hate. I'm pretty sure. I, do you need some money for a new shirt? Yes. Give me some money for a new shirt. Damn, poor plane is gonna melt in your Gucci. <laughs> 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 Whatever, we gone, bitch.